We heard about Pixar's Coco back when it was called Dia de los Muertos, and they tried to copyright the name, and understandably, uh, Mexican people did not like their holiday being co-opted. Now we know some real solid plot details, and we have a picture. So oh. this is, well, Entertainment Weekly has more watermarks this, so this came from them. Um, and this leads into uh, the story, which I will get to very soon. This is the character of Miguel, voiced by Anthony Gonzalez, a young boy with dreams of becoming a professional musician. And he right there is at the gravesite of his idol, Ernesto de la Cruz, voiced by Benj Benjamin Brett. And uh, what he's done is he has taken his deceased mentor's guitar, which is, I suppose, in there, in his mausoleum. He starts playing it. And since it's the Dia de los, de los, de los, de los Muertos, I don't speak Spanish very well. Uh, it uh, takes him to the world of the dead, and he goes on adventures um, with an untrustworthy skeleton named Hector, voiced by Gail Garcia Bernal, who you may know from Mozart in the Jungle. Uh, so I have been tracking all of this news very closely yeah. this entire time. I am a huge fan of animation and of Pixar. Uh, they made some serious missteps. As you said, they tried to copyright Dia de los Muertes, and people were rightly outraged. Um, since then, they have taken some great steps. Uh, they have an all Latino voice cast. Mm -hmm. um, the uh, uh, Adrian Molina, who is gonna, the writer of the script, also Latino, co director, uh, too. Is, got uh, elevated to co director. Mm -hmm. uh, also, they hired one of their most vocal critics, Lalo Alcaraz. Um, who he had done? Uh, he did that La Cucaracha comics. comic. Uh, yeah, he did comics uh, criticizing Disney's co-opting of the Mexican culture. But they hired him specifically so that they would have somebody to keep them in check. I feel as though, and this is pure speculation. That's what Adrian Molina was doing because previously he had been a story artist, mm -hmm. and I feel like half the time he's going, "No, that's not Mexican," or "No, let's not let's not upset the people." So uh, they they had founded the Oceanic Story Trust, or they, they had consulted with them greatly for Moana. They had hired a mostly Pacific Islander cast. Uh, they, had, they, had, they took all sorts of pains to be culturally sensitive and to honor the traditions of Oceanic peoples for Moana. It really paid off. Moana was amazing, and I think that, uh, you know, Pixar's gonna be doing this with Coco. Mm -hmm. I, I just, I'm really excited about it, and the images that we've gotten so far are beautiful. I think, is that the, you've seen other images besides that one? Yeah, there's one of the little boy with his grandmother, and uh, I think that's all we've gotten, like concept images. Ah, yeah, yeah it's, it looks pretty good. I, um, I'm glad that it looks different than the the other movie. I think it's called Book of the Dead. Uh, Book of the uh, Book of Life. Book of Life. Different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, there have been comparisons made. Uh, mm -hmm. They people are saying that the plot is sort of similar to it. Well, that one looked like more of a love story, and this one seems like a story of self discovery, of learning about the past mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. Uh, I uh, honestly, I, I don't think enough people saw Book of Life. I think everybody will have to go check that out uh, before they see Coco, so they can make their own decisions. Mm -hmm. But uh, I, I'm really excited about this, and it's really good that Pixar. It, this is this is also going to be one of Pixar's first full musicals. Mm -hmm. Which is really exciting. Wait, how many have they done musicals? They haven't. They haven't done a Whoa. musical yet. So I'm uh. I'm excited to see <laughs> what that means for them. I remember when they were just getting into people yeah. instead of anthropomorphic things. Right. And uh, so now they're moving up. And they had their first princess a while back too. Another detail about this is this will be heavily musically oriented uh, in the plot as well, uh, because Miguel he loves music. His ancestors formerly banned music somehow in a plot point I don't fully understand yet, so they have a bone to pick 
with him, uh, pun intended, as he enters uh, the land of the dead. Right, his family is supposed to be uh, some sort of craftspeople, and they are heavily discouraging his becoming a musician. They don't like it. Yeah, but he's gonna follow his heart and become a musician. It's gonna be great. He's gonna play that guitar, he's gonna meet his idol, who is a musician, probably a singer as well, and it's gonna go great. Probably better than that one Little Mermaid sequel about music and banning music. I hope so, at least. Audience, what do you think of Coco so far, and do you think they're going to do a good job of capturing uh, Mexican culture in a way that is celebratory? Please let us know below in the comments and please like and subscribe for more.